Today we're diving into the highly detailed COWS DA42 series for Microsoft Flight Simulator. This was provided by Orbix for a review. Orbix has no influence over this review, so you get my honest take. And if you're looking to get your hands on it, there is a back to school sale going on this week where you can get 25% off using the link in the pinned comment below. Microsoft Flight Simulator already includes several Diamond aircraft like the DA-40 TDI, the DA-40NG, and the DA-62. While the DA-40 models are single engine, today we'll focus on the twin engine DA-62 as our comparison point for the COWS DA-42 series. Both are twin engine aircraft, but the DA-42 goes much deeper with system depth and realism. The COWS DA-42 series includes two variants, the DA-42 TDI and the DA-42 VI. The TDI is powered by the Tellert diesel engine, giving it a more traditional feel, while the VI features Austro AE300 engines for improved performance, fuel efficiency, and quieter operation. The choice between these two depends on the kind of flying experience you're after, whether it's classic or modern. Now let's dive into a quick cold and dark start tutorial to get your DA-42 ready for flight. We'll start from scratch and just like you would in a real aircraft. So in the pre-engine start, you want to ensure that the pre-flight check is complete. So remove the pedal cover, check for loose objects, confirm fuel quantity, uh, check uh, circuit breakers. That's what you'd want to do in real life. Uh, but here we're in the simulator. So... Those pre-flight checks are pretty much all done. What you want to do next is uh, set the power levers to idle. They are currently at idle. Then confirm that the fuel selectors are set to on. So the both fuel selectors, the uh, left engine and right engine, are both on. Because if we, if we look in closer here, you've got uh, on or it could be at cross feed or off. So we got them in the on position. We want to make sure that the parking brake is set. And then we want to turn on the electric master switch. Now the before engine start, we want to verify that the avionics master is off. Avionics master is off. Check that the engine masters are off. So this is the engine masters left and right. They're both off. Ensure that the alternators are set to on. So we're going, they're both set to on. Then we want to set the voter switches to auto. These are both at auto. Then insert the uh, the start key into the ignition, which is done automatically. Now we get into the engine start procedure. So we're gonna wanna ensure that the prop area is clear. So you could open this up and yell out, clear prop. And hopefully, uh, if there's somebody around, they heard you and got away from the props. If not, well, could get a little bloody around here. So now what we're going to do is uh, start the left engine. To do that, we turn on the engine master for the left engine to on. Then we wait for the for the glow indication to turn off. So we've got oil pressure, low oil pressure. We're going to uh, turn the key left. And here we want to check that the oil pressure gets into the green after three seconds. So that's in the green. That's good. Now we're 
we're going to do the same thing for the right side. Put the engine master to on. Turn right. And uh, within three seconds, the oil is into the green. RPM has been uh, stabilized at uh, 710 RPM. Now we can turn on the avionics master switch. And then we can set up the uh, FMS and perform an autopilot test if necessary. Um, so if you want to put in your, your flight plan, you can do that. Uh, here we're going to go with, uh, we're, we're not going to put a flight plan in for, for this. But we're now ready to go. So, uh, this, this, parking is too, this parking is too small for your aircraft. TOS system test, okay. Now we're ready to taxi. So remove the uh, parking brake. And now we can uh, start taxiing to the runway. It's pretty much that easy to get to get started. This quick and easy procedure brings the TA-42 from cold and dark to ready for takeoff in no time. Let's see how it handles in the air. Beside the keys. No, oh, that's engine master. Uh, no, on the other side, the white button on the uh, left side. Oh, so, oh yeah, because it's giving me a warning. Right behind you, but you must be going through the throttle. Uh, about ninety percent.
And the breaker's supposed to work in this. Yeah, it's a, it's a clickable. Let's yeah. See. We're there already? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. Oh. I still see the magenta line. Uh, Richard? Ned is dead. Richard, are you okay? It says check Richard. gear. Check gear. Check gear. Richard gear? <laughs> two and two. Uh, Once in the air, the DA-42 truly shines. The flight dynamics are incredibly realistic with over 1,500 hours of real-world feedback from pilots and students baked into the model. Whether you're performing single-engine maneuvers or smooth IFR transitions, this aircraft responds beautifully. And of course, the VI variant offers slightly better performance and fuel efficiency at higher altitudes than the TDI. One of the standout features of the Kaus DA-42 is the depth of its systems. With over 190 custom failures, you can set up everything from minor system failures to chaotic scenarios with random engine issues every 30 seconds. You can also enable engine damage simulation for a more challenging experience. By contrast, the default DA-62 doesn't come anywhere as close to this level of customization. Now the sound design is another strong point. Every engine roar, switch click, and wind sound is captured from the real DA-42 recordings. There's even a headset simulation feature that mimics what pilots hear when using noise-canceling headsets. The difference in sound between the TDI and the VI variants adds another layer of immersion, with the VI being quieter and more refined.
Although the DA62 is a different model than the DA42, I find that the sounds aren't as robust. On my approach to Sedona, I found that I decreased the throttle ever so slightly and the default DA62 sounded as if I was decelerating a lot more quickly than I should have. Now while the DA-42 is an impressive aircraft, it does come with a couple of cons. First there's no EFB, electronic flight bag, to easily toggle settings. Everything is handled through the GPS system, which can be a bit cumbersome at times, especially for newer sim pilots. Second there's no quick start checklist specifically tailored for flight simming. This can be overwhelming for new simmers trying to locate the various switches and buttons particularly if tooltips are turned off. While there are in-game checklists you can tick off, I find that cuts into the immersion. It would be helpful to have a dedicated overview for flight sim users. That being said, these cons are pretty minor. The lack of EFB and a simplified quick start checklist don't take away from the overall experience. The Cows DA-42 still stands as one of the best add-on aircraft for Microsoft Flight Simulator from immersive systems and sound design to the realistic flight model, I highly recommend it to any serious simmer. And don't forget, there's a 25% off sale this week, so check the link in the pinned comment below to grab it at a discount. Next, you'll want to check out this replay of a live stream where I flew the DA-42 in French Guyana, exploring the country's landmarks and making a few landings. A local French Guyanese was even in a chat guiding me through the region's point of interest. Click on it to join the adventure. 